What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Alwyn Easy, and I'm back again with another video today. I just wanted to just get on here and just share the joy that's in my heart and to just remind y'all that God is so good. Whatever you're going through, God is so good. And he placed something specifically on my heart today about prayer. And I just want to let y'all know a little praise report that God has just been performing so many miracles in my life, coming through just with showering of blessings and provision for me in a time where he's put me in a position where I'm dependent on him and he's proving himself. He's proving himself as the almighty father. He's proving himself as the God that provides Jehovah Jireh. He's really a God who understands all that we need. And he's just asking for our attention. He's asking for our full devotion. And although we're imperfect, I know I'm imperfect, the more that I press into God and I take him at his word, he's showing me exactly who he is. And so um, I just wanted to say, I'm so grateful to what he's doing in my life. He's just been giving me so many blessings. And um, there's two scriptures that are, on my heart, specifically about prayer and the devotion of prayer that I really want to share with you all. It's so important that we pray, especially if you're a believer in Christ. This is our lifeline that we have to God, and he's opened it up to us. Back in the Old Testament, you know, we didn't have this kind of prayer access that we have that we have now in Christ. He's opened it up so that the Holy Spirit is with us and intercedes for us in prayer. We have an open connection through the example of what Jesus had shown on earth with the Father as he was here. He showed us, he showed his disciples how to pray. And so prayer is such a crucial part of this Christian life. And even if you're not a Christian and you're seeking God or you're seeking answers or maybe you're agnostic, maybe you're an atheist. I still charge you and challenge you, try prayer. You don't even have to be formal with it. You could just pray to God the most simple prayer to say, God, show me yourself. Show me who you are. Even if I haven't believed in you, I'm open to just on a whim praying right now just to, sh to show me who you are. And it doesn't have to be perfect. God can meet you right where you're at. Somebody out here today, is, they're going to hear this. You're going to hear this. And this is for you. Pray to God. For you who are a believer, we have to humble ourselves. Pray to God. Fall on your knees. Pray to him. Take the posture of a, a child seeking his father for dependence. That is what God desires for us. And so I just want to give you all two encouraging scriptures today um, that urges us to pray and just the importance of prayer and the blessing that that is in it and that God desires and the blessing that it is for us when we decide to humble ourselves in this devotion. The first being 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 19. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. And there's another scripture as well. Philippians 4, 7, verses 6 to 7. Be not anxious for nothing, or be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Those are two scriptures that are laid on my heart to share with you all today to understand that prayer is something that God has opened up for us. And it's something that is not only a blessing to us, but it pleases God because he's a very relational God. And a lot of people think of, you know, uh, just like this 
a mean tyrant in the sky that's always trying to judge us or somebody who's an atheist who doesn't even believe in God. They think that we pray to a flying spaghetti monster or something. No, God is a real person. God is, is, is real in heaven and he desires relationship with us. We are made in his image and he desires reconciliation with us and he d desires communion with us. And he's opened it up in the line of communication in the way of prayer. And he tells us to pray without ceasing. That means in everything that we do and all that we are, and even in, even if it doesn't have to be vocal, in our spirit, in our soul, pray to God. Make your petitions be known to him. Rejoice always. He's so good to us and he's always there. In everything, give thanks. Christ Jesus has literally made everything possible for us. All things are possible with God. With man, it may be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And I'm a testament. He can do it. He has done it. God's worked some miracles in my life where I was just up against a rock in a hard place and I needed a miracle. And God provided a miracle. I'm a living testimony. I'm not, I'm not capping. Living, I'm not lying. This is a living testimony of my life. And God is just so good, and I'm just so grateful for him. And he, he's with us, and he wants and desires for us to be closer to him and with him. He tells us to be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. And all the worries in this world, this world is so anxiety-inducing. Anxiety so much stress here and there, and so much chaos and noise, especially in this digital age, where... It's easy to be anxious. It's easy to be stressed out. It's easy to be pressed. It's easy to be depressed. God says, no. In everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, we got to be thankful to God for just even the breath we have. The breath I just took, that's a, a blessing and a gift from God. Every time you breathe, every blink that you just blink while you're watching this, it's a gift from God, every beating of your heart, every every pump. It's a blessing from God. We are living, walking miracles, even existing, even you watching this right now. You are a miracle. And so in everything, we must be thankful and bring our prayers and supplications to him. If you're going through anything or if you have any requests on your mind, let it be known to God. He's there for you and he will provide. A lot of times we just have disbelief and it feels like, Prayer doesn't work, but no, no, press in. I guarantee you, he will show himself. He just needs a mustard seed bit of faith and he'll, he'll do the rest. So much of us don't allow for it. Or we think, oh, I need to pray for it. And then we expect a genie thing to just happen 15 seconds later. Oh, it didn't happen. God's not answering me or God's not real. No, God works on his timing, but he, he tells us to make our request known. And as it will be done, it will be done in his timing and in his will. But he desires for us to bring all those things to him. We have so much that we keep to ourselves and we bottle up. If we may be known to him, even though he knows everything that we need before we pray, he still wants that relationship. He can still provide us blessings through that relationship. He can build our strength through that relationship. And so we can't cut that line off. He really does provide a peace that surpasses all understanding. The more that you pray and you see the work that he can do in your life, you see the blessing that already is even before he's done answering of any request. Just the rec revelation of that and recollection of that provides a peace that no man can give you or understand or even conceive. That's a God thing. God is good, y'all. I don't want to belabor this point anymore. Um... I just want to give a quick prayer for y'all because this video is about prayer. So might as well end it in a prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, thank you so much, God, for just life and all of the revelation that you've shown me through my life experiences. And I thank you for every person who's watching this video right now. I pray that you could bless them, bless their life, bless their families, bless their, their life and situations, their jobs, um, their faith, everything that they're going through right now. Uh, anything that they need, Lord, I pray that you will press it upon their heart to just bring those things to you, God. Anybody who's out here watching, they haven't prayed in a while, I pray that today will be the day that they're just nudged a little bit more 
to just get on their knees and pray. Or even if they don't take that posture of getting on their knees to pray, just even in their heart, just give a little whisper, private prayer to you because you hear and know all things, God. And I just pray that those things will be manifested in their life to show you to them that you may be glorified in those things because of who you are. I'm so grateful for everyone watching. I just pray blessings for their lives and I pray that they could continue to go on with their lives in a in a way that can honor you and to, to seek you forevermore and to be with you, God. Thank you so much for your son, Jesus Christ, and for everything he's done on the cross. Thank you for this ministry and that I'm able to share devotions with people. I pray that you can continue to bless that and more people can hear your word. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So with that, guys, don't neglect prayer. It's a blessing for us. I pray peace and mercy upon all of you all, and I love you. I pray you all be blessed. Peace.